Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. A woman can find a variety of men attractive. And this is very important to understand because even when I talk about body game, I always say your best body. Because one of the mistakes I'm seeing, especially with guys into looks maxing or even some guys that promote getting your body in shape, um, they always thinking, oh, you got to get this and then you'll get one. Like you got to have a square jaw or you got to have a certain percentage of body fat or you even got to have a certain type of eyebrows. Please. The reality with women is that they all have their own standards of attraction, one. But two, when they go for men, they will tend to like like a variety of men. There will be a common thread between them, but it's not always a physical thread. It might be more along the personality or, um, you know, lifestyle, some, some. It tends to be along more along the lines of actually personality. Now, the bodies may be similar, but the reality is just by the nature of women, they could get with, they can have a loving relationship, like in love, crazy sex, all of that, with some dude who's real slim and lean and everything. They break up, but then she get with another guy and equally passionate. And this dude's more on the stockier side, bigger side. Like one of the things I found with women I've known for decades, if you really pay attention to it. Now you do have some women, is uh, the guys are almost carbon copies, but most of them, they have a range. And that's the thing to understand, they have a range. Like a lot of guys think, well, they just want the tens, they just want the chads, you know? But no, they can get an ordinary guy too. They can get an average guy, it depends on several factors. Like one of the things that really depends on is how the woman's feeling, what she really wants, what she considers important. Contrary to popular belief, and even with myself who promote body game, there's some women, they might actually focus more on the personality of the man, more so than his physicality or what he looked like, his face looked like, his body looked like. Even though that's still gonna come into the equation, it depends on how important it is. See, so understand something. Think about the basic nature of women. And I've said this before, during a single month, a single month, a woman will want different things out of a guy. Like one week, she might want that guy who's real cooperative, real peaceful and everything. You know, apple pie type of guy. And she's sincere. And then the next week, oh, she wants that wolf. She wants somebody to tear her shit up. She wants somebody to tear, throw, throw her around a bit, pick her up, slam her against the wall, and tap it like they stole something. Okay, that's one level. That's, that's one level. But then the week later, oh, she might want somebody who's kind of keeping his distance. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's just how a woman is. So they the same way. It depends on where they at in life what they want and everything. Like I give you a great example, a great example. See, a lot of guys actually get this wrong about women, that whole alpha fucks, beta bucks thing. And a lot of guys really get it wrong because first of all, they call in the guy that she had sex with when they were younger as an alpha. And that's why I don't like using that term. I'm just using it for reference now. I really don't like how it's been used. Like that was just somebody she was having sex with. Like when she's young, she ain't, thinking, she ain't thinking about kids or anything like that. She ain't thinking about marriage. She just want to have fun. So the guy who's going to be more attractive to her is the guy who is, uh, he might be built a certain way, look a certain way, but mainly he might be more, he ain't somebody she would take serious. He ain't the type who would be a good father type. It's just fun, fun, fun. But then as she get and, and that part of that is the physicality. It's a big part of it. You know, she wants that guy who's more athletic, more built. But she gets older. She gets older, all of a sudden it kicks in, that biological clock start ticking. She wants the child, right? But here's the funny thing too. She still want him to look a certain way. He still gotta look good to her. But he might not have to look as good as that guy when she was younger. So the guy that she might have messed with at 20 might be no good for her at 30. 
and the guy she might have skipped over at 20 might not be any good, or might be great for at 30. But is even that, that goes beyond the physicality. It's about the mindset. The guy that she dealt with at 20, he had no fatherly instincts. Nothing about him showed that he would be a good father if she even had a child with him. Now, she might think he's sexy, he look good, but he, he don't give off that paternal energy. But when she get 30, she meet that guy. Now, yeah, okay, he ain't as hot to her as that other guy, but her needs are child. Her needs are she wants to settle more. So that guy who looks like he is more settled all of a sudden becomes hot to her. Is at the moment, whatever she going through in life. That's why you can get some women, they could, okay, when they in their 20s, the 20s, okay, they want that hot guy, you know? But then they get in around their third, you know, their thirties and stuff, biological clock ticking, everything. They might want that guy who's a bit more settled, more family oriented. And she's legitimately turned on by him. But say, okay, the, the kids there pop out, but then all of a sudden the child, that's not influencing her needs to the same extent. That's why you get some older women, if they can stay in shape, they might be cougars. That's some of them. That's some of them. So she wants that guy. She, she might go for the young guy or even older guys who still got a certain amount of hotness to, you know, consensus hotness. But depends. That's some women. Some women, they might just say, you know what, just like this parental thing. Or they might, it could be a woman whose needs are, okay, she's older and she might be one of those business type of women. Women, she got a business, everything. She needs that guy that she can work with and grow in her business. And then she also wants to help him grow his business. So that, is, that guy is going to be hot to her. And then, you know, since I talked about that part, that corresponds to the house of the man and the house of the woman, which I talked about. Now, it depends on what she wants. Now, if, she, if she's got that maternal thing, she wants that guy who looks like he can protect the family and everything. But... You know, but say she's a woman and she's more on that intellectual thing. You got some women on the intellectual thing. The man who looks intellectual might turn her on. You know, it depends on where she's at. And shoot, even when even even within a single year, um, like, say, take the woman back to the 20s, uh, her 20s. Now, I said, yeah, generally that hot guy, but this still depends on where her mindset is. She might be one of those young women who think it. Oh, okay, I, I need that more settled guy now. And you get some women like that. Or uh, she'll get that, or she might want that money, that money guy to build with. She would say, okay, I want that more settled guy. And it depends. It, it's still, it's still so many factors. I'm just giving general like tip of the iceberg stuff. Everything still come down to where she at at life, what she find attractive, and she might just you know, look. They, she might just have a range in general, and she might keep that range for the rest of her life in general, but it's still going to come down, okay, what's at that moment? And then if she's, and like I said, it could be the personality. She said, like, you might look at the men, like, say you got a, a woman, she did, okay, she starts out with dating, um, like, in a five-year period, five-year period. No, let's make it more fun, a one-year period, and these are just dates. Now, I know some guys got a problem. Let's say she has uh, sex with five men, right? Sex with five men. All right, that first man, he's, he's more that, you know, big stocky type of dude, right? Big stocky type of dude. But then a couple months later, she get with that more uh, slimmer intellectual type of dude. And then she, you know, then next she get with that guy. You know, he, ain't, he could stand and lose some weight, but he more in that money thing. But then she might, the guy after that might be on that more party thing, you know? And he might be, you know, he might have an athletic bill. But once again, their needs. And then let me use another example with that. They might all look different. And I said five. Um, I don't know, some tall dude. Let's throw that in there. Anyway, um, but that's on just, that's on one level. But then, you know, they might have different personalities, but say again, which I was about to get into, but you know how I flow. Um, so you get with five different guys over a course of a year. 
and they all physically look different, but if you were to examine it, they all had the same general type of personality. They all had, all of them, regardless of how they looked, they all were all aggressive, they were all assertive. All of, every single one was masculine. Every single one was masculine. So it's like, it's so many factors in there, but that's just a woman's nature. And, and one of the things I've see, I start seeing this as a young man, because if you look at like, there's a lot of guys talk about these single mothers and you know how you get some women, they might have uh, like multiple children from multiple men. But if you look at the children, you look at the men, they don't look anything alike. Yeah, she still happily popped out babies for them. And that's just a woman's nature. That's just a woman's nature. And why do I share all of this? It's very important. See, a lot of guys think they have to look like somebody to do something. All you can do is look like yourself, your best version. You know? Your best version. Like, I'll use myself for an example. Y'all see me, even, even when I shared pictures of me when I was younger and stuff, I was still like 190. I know, shit, I would have to be sick to be slim. So I don't look at that guy like, oh, I gotta be like him. I still got more than like typically more women, sexually been with more women than the average guy. Sexually been with more women. But this is how I look. But the women liked it. Now, I've known some guys on the slimmer side. They've been with a lot of women. Okay. That's the, you know, the women like them. See, you got to be your best version. Not compare yourself. I'm not going to say I'm going to be like that guy. I can only be me. And But there's always going to be a woman that likes you if you present your best. That's why I, I even said, ultimately, all men, no matter what, can get a woman. It's just a question if they want her back. But that's just a woman's nature. Say, oh, you got to be this to get women. Pfft. No. You just got to be your best version and see who like you. There's four billion women in the world. To say they all want one type of man is stupid. Nothing in life bears that out because so many factors come in. You know, their racial background, their DNA, their culture. Or so many things come in. You just got to be the best you can. And yeah, there are going to be some men who get more than average. But how many? You're talking 1% or 1% or 1%. Let's just be real with it. So you just got to be your best. Women have a range. Don't think they just want one type of guy. Yes, there's some guys who probably get more than average. Okay, fine. You just worry about getting yours. You just worry about getting yours. Because let's be real, most men will have sex with no more than, well, it's, the numbers always range from five to seven. Okay. That means you got a shot at somebody if you're your best. So anyway, that's it for this video. I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.